what's going on like pro tackle fam i hope you're having a wonderful day guys we've got a really cool video going on today we're going to be going over a couple rods going to be going over a couple swim baits we got some brand new stuff in so stay tuned if you're not subscribed definitely please consider subscribing if you like what we're doing here and if you enjoyed the video i greatly appreciate it if you leave a like on it and comment down below what should we comment today i'm not sure but maybe we'll get to that but anyway our giveaway post is up still on youtube so make sure to go find that one um i appreciate each and every one of you that are on this journey with us as uh we just live life as a like pro tackle family guys um so that winner will be chosen here very very shortly uh i think i'm going to try to get this video out specifically on friday and i think we'll choose the winner next week on monday or tuesday something like that uh, we have so many entries in there and i can't wait to do a drawing for that of course you're gonna win a hat you're gonna win some baits and it's gonna be super awesome let's all right y'all let's go ahead and jump into this here i want to definitely start off with these rods right here these are the miller rods these are carl jockamson's signature rods there's so many different models and i'm just gonna list out the ones we have currently in stock that we got restocks on. So last classic um, back in what, 20, uh, what, I don't even remember when the last time classic was here. Um, but last time that Carl Jockamson came in the shop, convinced us to get these in, and these are a very hot selling item. They have so many different unique pieces on this rod, and we'll get into that, but there's so many different unique makes and models as well. So there's, uh, and these are all freaks, uh, the, the names of them, they're all freaks. So there's a square freak, square bill right rip freak jerk bait crank freak for cranking swim freak for swim baits and big heavier duty swim jigs um there's a jig freak specifically made for jigs a switch freak which is really cool it's a very utility um bait casting rod the dream freak that's a great swim bait rod um the blade is going to be a blade freak that is going to be a chatterbait spinnerbait rod in the bait casting versions. Now, the bait casting versions are going to look exactly like this guy right here. They have a G lock or a unlock G clutch system. So you can set your reel in here and lock it down very, very comfortably. Now, for those of you who are familiar with the G clutch system, it's not a new system uh i think some lose rods in the past or maybe currently still use this system here uh for those of you who might think you know oh i'm gonna like twist that or anything no trust me it locks in there once you get your reel on very very comfortable it is a foam but it's a heavy duty foam so it's not just gonna just disintegrate on you i mean you can really use this a lot and that foam is gonna stay very very good now uh, what's cool about the G clutch system specifically is they have this little opening in the very, very back where you can get some very good feeling directly to the blank in the, all these rods, even the jig freak and the biggest one, which is like the dream freak. They are extremely light, very, very light sanded blank. And what's cool about these is they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 guides. And this one right here. This is the rip freak. This is the jerk bait rod. So in terms of being able to make very precise casts and flips, you've got it all right here. You're rarely going to break this rod as well with all the guides. Is that, you know, your as your line goes down through these guides, it is guiding that line across your blank. And, and, and there's no dead spots in here. Very very cool and you got a little hook keeper on the bottom which is very nice so this is the rip freak uh, of course we've got all the ones i listed earlier in the spinning version it's a little bit different of course going to be very close to a traditional spinning rod here where you know it, it just locks in nice and easy what's cool about the spinning rod series is that you have a little bit um you you have a lot of variance when it comes to the handles this here is specifically the spin freak it's a seven foot eight rod this is what tim likes to throw his big wobble heads on and he has caught some monsters on this rod uh if you want to check out all the sizes and actions and powers go online like protackle.com of course the spinning one two three four five six seven eight nine ten guides on it so you're still getting a, a very premium product these guides are also the fuji alkanite guides um these rods again very very light this is a seven foot eight rod and it is basically the same weight as a full-size bait caster um even lighter even 
Now, the Spin Freak does have a little longer butt section here on the handle. Um, something like the Finesse Freak or the uh, Flick Freak, they're going to have a little shorter handle to really allow you to make some roll casts or flips or something like that. There's four models that we have in the spinning version. It's the Flick Freak, the Spin Freak, the Bass Freak, and the Finesse Freak. The Bass Freak is going to be their utility spinning rod. Um, but very excited to get a restock on these in. And here in a couple months when the Classic does come back to Texas, guys, um, we are planning to have Carl Jockamson stop by in the shop here. So we're going to try to set a day and, uh, kind of make the most out of it. Get a get a couple pros in here. Of course, we just restocked these. Maybe you will have to do another order because these definitely speak to you. But again, guys, I can't say this enough. These are extremely light rods, have some very unique actions. And if you want a full video breaking down every single one of these rods, let me know. Moving on here, uh, my... Day in, day out, utility, fishing, driving, whatever glasses. These right here are the bomb. My, my mic's here. I can't put them on. But these are the Costa Reefdom Pros. Now, these are uh, glass lenses. I think these are the only glass lens Costa that we have because I love the glass lenses on these Reefdom Pros so much. Um, for me, I've got a little taller face, so these are some nice tall frames while maintaining just a very sleek look. Now, these are the ones I wear on the water all the time. You're going to see me. If you see me out on the water, you see me in public, I'm probably wearing these. Um, of course, I do love my Bahio Aviators. There's a time and a place. But on the water, these Costa Reefton Pros are my go-to. Green, mirror, usually uh, what I to, tend to stick with in the dirtier water. If it gets cleaner, I might go to a blue or even a rose. So, Costa's are in stock so definitely check these out um we've got some plastic lens ones we've got some glass lenses kind of just depends we've got a few make and models of my favorite and tim's favorite as well so coast is in stock and probably something that everyone wants to get right now these are hot clutch ecos bone thread fin we also have a couple other colors i believe steel shad and purple shad ogs are going to come back in stock here in the next week or so. We do have a ton of darters. So guys, um, I greatly appreciate everyone stopping by here. If you've got a um, fall shad spawn coming on, coming on, you definitely want to hop on an eco. Under $100, these things are badass. The paint is not really paint. This is just straight resin. So even if you scuff it up or you throw it into rocks or docks or anything like that, it's not losing its color. So make sure to check out all the cool stuff from Clutch Swimbait Company. Um, guys, we're still packing a lot of orders. Spearpoint hooks are flying out of here. Mastiff, the BOGO is a no-go anymore. So um, be on the lookout for the next time we do something like that. Um, but we sold a ton of Seagar Mastiff to y'all. I've heard so many great reviews on this. Um, and if you have a little time, definitely leave us a Google review or a review on the website. We greatly appreciate it. We want to hear what you like because uh, that helps us buy more and uh, really makes it a lot easier to make those decisions. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Again, if you enjoyed it, please leave a like on it. And if you aren't already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel here. And uh, we will see you next time at Lake Pro Tackle. See you guys.